Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Chaplain John McTurnan is with us today. Chaplain, welcome. Thank you for having me. Blessing Israeli believers, why did you get involved in an organization to bless those believers in Jesus Christ that currently live in Israel? Well, I've gone to Israel many times, and I literally met the Israeli believers. Uh, when I first went to Israel, I didn't even think there were believers there. It never entered my mind. But as I met them, I began to see their, the depth of their love for the Lord and their commitment, their love for the Jewish people, love for the land, but yet the hardships. And uh, many of them were suffering rejection, total rejection from their family. They had lost jobs. They had lost uh, places to live and, and other things. And the church, it, it's, uh, they're under the radar. Now, in America, we have millions that uh, go every year and they bless Israel greatly, but they don't think of the Israeli believers. So as I met them personally and I saw them, I realized that it was time that the church should really reach out and help them. Well, Chaplain John, you say you've been to Israel many times and you, and you went a number of times, but went to the touristy yes. places. Yes. You go to the Jordan River. You may right. want to be baptized in the Jordan. You may go, but you never even thought about visiting with believers in Jesus Christ that live in Israel. Isn't that the amazing thing? I mean, I didn't, I didn't associate believers with Israel. And I didn't know one. I wouldn't know how to shake hands with one. I didn't have any contacts whatsoever with Israeli believers until I went with a uh, Jewish brother. Well, and Chaplain John, are believers who live in Israel sometimes ostracized by their family? Are they rebuked by their employer? Are they sometimes discriminated against by the landlord that may rent them an apartment or a home? And do some retailers even say, I don't want to sell to you? Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, that is the case. And that's why I've raised up Israeli, blessing Israeli believers to try and fill this void, to try and help them. And when you look at scriptures, when Paul went on his great journeys preaching the gospel, in Romans 15, it tells us that while he was preaching the gospel, he was collecting money for the relief of the saints that were in Jerusalem. You mean he was collecting money not for himself, but the church. Right. The in, and the individual believers that were in Jerusalem. In the first century, yes. So now the Jews are back in the land. Jerusalem's the capital. They speak Hebrew. They have shekels for money again. And the believers are there in Jerusalem, just like they were in the day of Paul, and they need assistance. So this ministry is kind of following in Paul's footsteps in that we are collecting funds to be able to help the Israeli believers, just like Paul did. Well, when individuals donate to blessing Israeli believers, how do you get those funds to the needy in Israel? And who decides who might get new tires for their car or new refrigerator or maybe just furniture or food or health care? Well, we have a network set up with the Israeli believers where we know exactly where the money's going to and who is getting it. But I don't work alone. I have uh, a board and I have others that we consult. Really, none of the money goes out uh, on a whim. It all is thought of and we pray and, and I, people, I consult with people. Are the funds used to not only bless that Israeli believer, but also to bless the church so that the church can stand for the good news and preach Jesus Christ in the country of Israel. Yeah, that's one of the major um, focuses of blessing Israeli believers. We want to help the believers in Israel so that they can be a blessing to Israel itself. It, so that as we provide them with funds, and like you mentioned, maybe uh, tires for the pastor of a, a, for his vehicle, uh, we're helping them so that they can bless Israel and also preach the gospel. Now, if a, an American 
or somebody watching this video wants to go to Israel and to work with and to work alongside someone in Israel, a believer, is that possible? It is possible under certain circumstances and other circumstances it's not because of the um, persecution. S some of the work there has to remain under the radar. On anonymous. Anonymous, right. right. How can someone get involved with blessing Israeli believers? Well, we have a website, and they can go to the website, Blessing Israeli Believers, and I have a blog, uh, johnmcturnan.name, and from that blog, they can go directly to the website. And, and the all website again is? BlessingIsraeliBelievers.com. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, hear Yeshua cry. How I long to gather you to me. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Messiah wept for you.